Wait a minute. I didn't mean anything. I apologize, Valerie. Now you're a nice, sweet girl. And your hands off. Okay? Look, I don't want to come on like a Girl Scout or anything. It's just that it's a long ride. I get the message. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You found out anything? I'll know something this afternoon, but uh, we both know who it is. Hey, tough guy. Four more months, you'll be out of here. Come on, don't mess it up now. Joey's playing my manger, huh? <laughs> well, if I don't, who will? Hey, <laughs> you guys, I got my weekend furlough. And you know what? I'm gonna see him. Yo, man. Yeah. Hey, did you get my clothes out of the dryer? Does Mrs. Little know that's where you're going? No. My pass is to visit my aunt. But I gotta find out about my father. I, I mean, he's been sick the whole time I've been here. That's why he hasn't been up or written to me or anything. Wanda, you go back to the old neighborhood, you're asking for trouble. No, Angel. No, I'm... I'm gonna stay clean. I'm never gonna use again. Look, I can't even remember being 15. I mean, a whole year of my life is a complete waste, and I don't want to lose any more. So listen to them, Mama. Why do you want to go back where it all started? My father's all I've got. He never was very strong. Shh. Hey, Susie, that's fantastic! I wish you could. Sorry, Mama. Not this time. Why do we get off the freeway? I have to pick something up from a friend. It won't take long. You got the word. Loud and clear. Banarisi says she saw her go into okay. Little's office. Susie Kurosawa. She's been trying to get my job as monitor ever since she got here. That bride got herself some big plans and some big trouble. Sure, wait a minute. Why'd you do that? Do what? You introduced me as your old lady. Because that's what I want you to be. There you go. Russo, it's short. It's all I got. Hey, man. It's short. Well, you want blood, take blood. It's all I got, man. Aren't we getting back on the freeway? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I just got to figure out a couple things first. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. It's real simple, princess. I'm a little short of cash money. I wondered if I could borrow some until we get up north. 
All I have is ten dollars for food on the way. My mother wired the rest to my cousin's house. Ten whole dollars, huh? Your mama sure don't want you to get fat, huh? It's all she could afford. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's got any money. Old Buddy gets sick as a dog, but old Buddy ain't got no buddies, not when he needs them. I want to get out now, please. Oh, she would like to get out now, please. Even Buddy's chick is going to take a walk, huh? I'm not your chick. You're my chick. Now, you're my old lady, my woman. And you are going to help me because I'm sick right now. And I need you. Me and her got some talking to do. I stay. I said out. We got a long score to settle, woman. You're crazy. You've been trying to have me busted all year. You've been opening up my mail. You've been planting stuff in my room. Oh, but now... Now you cost me four months of my life. I didn't do it. Like you didn't wipe out that 74-year-old drunk who was trying to sleep it off in the alley. Now listen to me, Tom. We could go in together. That's not why you're here. I can't stop it. And you turned up and you looked in my room. We could make a fortune. And I'd go half with you. Oh, yeah. Well, here's your half in advance. Yes, I need some more. You're going to open up and laugh to me. You're so... All right, what happened here? Washington needs a little time to sort things out. One week of meditation in Sea Wing. Meditation? You take that funny time word and you stick it in a tree. You call it solitary. It's solitary! liquor store together. I'm going to do a little business with the man behind the counter and you're going to look out for anybody coming. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> One wrong move out of you and your mama's not going to be getting any letters from up north. Thank you. I keep telling you, the candy bars, they aren't good for you, baby. You gotta have the natural foods. Uh, what have they got here? All right, keep an eye on the door, okay? Mister. Yes, sir. All your cash. Okay. Okay.
I'm not. Yeah, okay. Later. Book them. Names. Anthony Bud Goletta. Valerie Ann Smith. Charge. Murder one. I think you'd be gorgeous with a beard. As opposed to ugly without one. <laughs> you know what I mean. Betty. Mm hmm? The phone is driving me crazy. <laughs> well, it's right. You're not to answer it. Hmm. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. Oh. Oh, God. Get the phone. I am. Hello? Yeah, yes. He's just leaving. Let me see if I can catch him, sir. Just a moment. Ben! Who is it? Mr. Finer. I told him we were just leaving. Mr. Finer, you just caught me going out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, could you repeat that, sir? <clears throat> A juvenile? That's very exciting, sir. 20 minutes, sir. Wow. The brightest member of the public defender's office, that's me, just got a very big one. A 17-year-old girl, baby, murder one. Mm. Murder one. Santa What is she doing here? Her parents were picked up by immigration. She's waiting for an aunt. How long should we wait? Two days. If the aunt doesn't show by this afternoon, we'll send her to a foster home. That baby's been sleeping in here for two days? Don't yell at me, Mr. Holian. I didn't make up the system. Everybody says that. I wonder who did. Valerie, I'm sorry I'm late. Valerie did not commit any crime. She doesn't belong here with, with criminals. Let's sit down. When is my trial? Next week. <gasps> well, next week? I was hoping for a continuance. We could have used the time. Yes, but if she's tried next week, then she'll be home all the sooner. I hope so. You hope so? Is there any doubt? Mrs. Smith, they both know that I'm young. That's my fault. What you don't know is that I graduated first in my class, and I'm smart as hell. And in the three years that I've had this job, I have not lost a case. Well, then? Well, then, the DA has three witnesses that will testify that Buddy Galetta and Valerie were traveling together. Which we know is not true. Isn't it? Buddy Galetta is telling everyone who listened that you had sex with him in the back of his van. Oh, he's crazy. And after which you agreed to go in on his plan. He's crazy. I keep telling you that. I keep telling everybody that. What are you trying to do? I want Valerie to know what she's going to face on that stand next week. Judges hate tears. I want her prepared and I want her calm. Any woman on the jury would understand. Jury? Juveniles do not have the benefit of a jury, Mrs. Smith. It's not fair. That's the way it is. The fate of your daughter lies in the hands of one man. And I hope he had a good breakfast that morning. 